okay you all and welcome back to my channel i know i have been very bad about making videos and putting them up and i still do not know how to edit nor do i have any uh i even bought an edit thing and i still don't know how to work it today's video is going to be a very quick one because i'm getting ready to go see my daughters and yeah so You all, if you all follow me off TikTok, you already know a lot of what I got going on. And even though things have gotten somewhat better, it's still extremely stressful. And, yeah. So, all I've done is add some moisturizer, some of this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber Primer, just because it's very lightweight. And now I am going to do very simple simple things to get myself out the door but feel like um i look decent you know so i have some it foundation and i literally use a minimum amount because the more foundation i use the worse everything gets and i do not have time to mess everything up so i kind of do like this spread it out a little bit and then just kind of go in with it. But this is like one of my little routines when I don't have a lot of time. And I got to get out the door. And I don't really have time to sit there and play with makeup and make a whole look. this is a wet beauty blender and it's literally $20 sponge but it works it works so I'm gonna blend that out just enough I mean I'll still probably touch it up a little bit but go ahead L'Oreal infallible I love this concealer yes I do use my Jeffree Star from time to time but this isn't as light as my Jeffrey because I have the C5 and this works just as well. I do have my Rosé translucent powder, but I also use it compact powder and I will use this to set it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all this out as well. I have had a crazy past month. I got unsupervised back on my boys. I'm dealing with issues with these parenting classes. I just went and had an appointment today. The president is coming to Louisville, Kentucky today. I don't care. Um, I mean, it's not like it's going to it's doing anything to help my life. I guess I don't know if it is, but anyway, it goes. Traffic's about to get insane. That's the only thing that I really do care about because, uh, just grabbing some setting powder and I'm going to go and tap it on the top of my eyes to prevent any creasing. And I haven't added any more powder yet, but I wanted to go ahead and smooth out the underneath because the under eyes crease so quick. And I try not to use a whole lot of setting powder, otherwise it'll have my face cakey. And we just don't want that. A uh, little well, setting powder, the areas you know are going to crease more. And to where you've added concealer, then I will take my compact powder 
fluffy brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. And go over my face. I'm a little kitten sneezing. And even though I just added a little bit extra powder on it, I'm wiping off the excess on top of my eyes. I add a little extra right underneath my eyes. My foundation's actually gonna work with me today, not cause me <sighs> a whole convulsion. Okay, now also learning to do eyelashes will save you some time because I used to fight mascara for like 40 minutes. These I used last night, but I've learned adding eyeliner makes things a lot better. My problem though is I still have not mastered wings and um i don't think there is such thing i i when people tell me oh i mastered your wing i'm like you know what i'm saying not not for i mean kind of for real because it does suck like this sucks i'm not even going to add any color to my eyelids or nothing right now because i don't have time i do not suggest rusting uh rusting rushing this part and this is nyx epic ink liner in black i mean yeah just black nothing fancy i hate wings y'all i hate wings i feel like every time i'm gonna mess up Why does my nose always have to run like crazy when I do my makeup? Every time. <laughs> like, and then now this, now my eyes are watering, that's great. And this wing is like weird. Like, what the hell is this? I want to open my eyes, like, whatever. I ain't got time to sit here and perfect this wing. I'm trying so hard just to take it out just a little extra here down here oh my god y'all I know y'all are like, uh, you're supposed to be doing a makeup tutorial and you're over here like winging it for real. <sighs> I hate doing a wing liner. It is what it is, okay? We are in a hurry. We ain't got time for this, Jessica. Like this one looks a lot better than this one because this one's just like fat in there <laughs> of 
course, I'm going to jack it up because that's what I'm good at. I'm going to always want current running. That's always freaking a plus. And this is how wings get really big. Because then you just start adding and adding and adding. Okay, it doesn't matter, okay? This is what I got going on. This is gonna have to work, because we ain't got time. And I feel like I have to upload a day on tutorial. Like, I have been slacking so bad. All right. All right. 12 minutes in this video. Now, this... I have found makes putting eyelashes easier. You do not have to do it. It is up to you. I just put the glue on my eyelid. Eyelid, okay? Just do that. Don't drop everything in the process. I have this pixie blush. I've not used it. I'm not even going to try it because I don't know if I'm going to like it. We're just going to go with this. I'm going to let this sit on my eye just the same as you would on the eyelash. This is my Benefit blush that I love. Try not to fold your eye. Because you don't want... glue on top of your eye now the reason i like this benefit one like gold brush yeah. because it's like a soft peachy but it's kind of got like that glittery shimmery feel to it okay and i like that so now i'm going to use the same eyelashes i had as yesterday Grab your tweezers and make sure nothing stickies on your tweezers because it'll pull the eyelashes right back off and then you'll be pissed off. And kind of the point of this video is just kind of telling you a few of the little tips that I've learned to make some things easier. And take them like this in the middle and look down. Place them to the closest you can to get to your lash line. Well, hell. Please be careful when you got sharp things at your eyes. Voila. I will promise you this makes it a lot easier. If you fight eyelashes at all, 
this makes it so much easier because then when I have the glue on the eyelash and I go to put it down, it gets on my eyelid. It gets everywhere. It's a lot easier just to add it straight on to than trying to do it the other way. So I like to make sure and as long as you have enough glue on like i've been using this one as my favorite glue so far i only came in amazon something um as long as you have enough glue it won't mess up your eyeliner you know what i'm saying now if it's dry it'll pull that eyeliner off but as long as your little applicator is got glue on it you're good and it dries clear so and then it actually kind of dries it does dry clear, but it's shiny, so it makes it just, like, shiny. Just trust the process, y'all. Just trust the process. All right, I'm going to get this little Morphe fan brush, and I love Ofra. This is the closest one to me, so I'm going to rock it. Um, this is the highlighter of all lights, and I'm going with these top shades, which is a pink and gold. Same thing over here. Add a little bit more fan up here. Okay. I did get this new Jeffree Star and Morphe collab. I'm just grabbing one of the fluffy brushes. You can lick it. You can add a setting spray, whatever you choose to do. And then go right above your eyebrows. And I've done forgot that I need to be putting these eyelashes over here before it dries. Okay. Same step on this side. Grab them little effers. Same difference. It's easier if you kind of like hold it at an angle. Like you see how I'm holding it. Drop down. I mean, maybe grab them. Place them. Well, these fuckers done dried. Damn it. The first... Ugh. The first place that it attached to, it just like stuck. Ow. It's gonna go. It's fine. Once again, I did get the uh, new Jeffree Star and Morphe, like the his new collab with them. So I got the brushes and the, um, palette and setting spray I like them here in our corners now if you are in a rush this is the only thing I suggest you really really do to your eyebrows because if you don't if you got real blonde ones like me anyways I just take some benefit brow tint And kind of fluff them. So go over them. And like push them up. But over. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm pushing them up. But it's still kind of laying them down to the right. Because I'm on the right eye. So it looks full. Same thing to the other side. 
I need to do something with this. I got hair and shit on it. Whatever. I don't even try to mean to, I don't even mean to cuss on here. Same thing to this side. Push them up. But lay them down to the left since I'm on my left eye now. It just makes them look fuller and then you can actually see them because I'm so blonde that so are my eyelashes. So now we've covered the basics. We gotta put add some mascara, but I like to try to do this before if I can remember. This is the new setting spray it smells like strawberries if you have one of those really strong like the Ofra like it's going psh, you know what I'm saying then I will take my beauty blender spray it and I will do it a few times but do that smush it together and then like lightly go over your face and like if I was just using my Ofra setting spray that's what I would do Instead of, I wouldn't even spray my face. I would just add some to my beauty blender and then I would go over my face with it. That way, because it shoots out so hard, it will leave, you know, like impressions on your skin. So we don't want that. Now, the last three things I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Morphe lip shade. It's one of my favorites. Vanity. I hate when I don't make it even. It took me forever to even be able to do my lipstick that kind of good. And it still is not good. All right, we got basically two steps left. And the very last step, oh my God, where did it go? Is it gonna be what makes the look pop? Now, 
This is Thrive. I got this in my Ipsy. And when I tell you I love this mascara, like, the applicator is amazing. And when I start making, like, I am starting my own makeup brand. It's not going to launch till probably April of 2020 because I don't want to rush it. And I don't want to mess up and then, you know, like, have to stop and relaunch and... I want to make sure that the first time I do it is, you know, all I need to do. Or, or, or it's only, the first time I launch, I want to be my first launch and my only launch, you know what I'm saying? And the only way I can prevent having to fix errors is to do it experiment try it out and you know what i'm saying before i go and try to make a million of them and sell them to the public like i want to know that what i'm doing is good or like i want to make sure that i'm putting out the very best products before i just start putting shit out there you know what i'm saying Because when you start run, uh, rushing launches, that's when you have mistakes. Oh my god. You see this applicator? Like, I love it. So, one side's gonna work fairly decent, and the other's not. Okay. Whatever. All right. And then when you do your... See, I don't put mascara on my eyelashes before I do them because I feel like... Before I put the falsies on there, because I feel like it drags them. Pink eyeliner. I lost my black eyeliner from ColourPop, and I also have this green and a white one. But I'm telling you, you don't even have to sit there and do all that eyeshadow. As long as you add a bright color to your waterline. And you'll see my whole look will pop just because of this. if optional if you want to add more setting spray go for it i don't think you really have to and you've seen like i took my beauty blender spray it and go over very gently like very gently Barely hard enough 
to even really move your skin. No, I do not have no type of filters or any of that on this phone right now. Like, this is not, you know how you make your eyes more vivid or whatever the case may be. I literally, I already have to stop this video because I need to get my ass out the door to go see my baby girls. My baby that I had locked up will be three Friday. And if y'all follow me on TikTok, you know I'm fighting for my kids. And today is the day I get to see her for her birthday. So... But there is no filter on, and you see. It's very simple. We've, this has now been 30 minutes on here, so I'm gonna get off here. But I promise I'm off on Mondays and Thursdays now, so I will be making sure to upload more videos, even if it's just to kind of talk to you all and whatever, I don't know. I'm gonna at least be putting up videos for just because okay but i love you all thanks for everybody who supports me thank you for all the prayers just thank you y'all mean more to me than you will ever know and that's just because i need that positivity in my life and pretty much everybody who follows me is just so extremely positive and i love you all so you all have a great day and i will be putting up new videos here soon if there's anything you would like me to see do try any kind of looks give me some ideas and let's get to it but anyways i love you all it's off off to see my baby girls now y'all have a great day love you bye